so hi guys uh, in this video i will discuss on the component placement so for component placement uh, first i will consider the uh, critical component i will consider those components are critical um, those you have to place in a proper uh, proper position uh, without placing those component proper position your pc will not work properly or your pc will get noisy okay that's why just uh, look into the schematic you will see that uh, the most critical component of this uh, design is the crystal because crystal is the most important part of your microcontroller and so you have to place your crystal uh, close to the microcontroller uh, so that uh, it um, the crystal doesn't um, produce much noise or um, the all the air all the rf noise or other noise from the air and doesn't get mixed with the crystal signal okay that's why you have to place your uh, crystal close to the microcontroller and secondly you have to place all those bypass capacitor close to the uh, vcc pin uh, so that any or uh, any uh, noise that was mixed with the vcc uh, just pass through the ground before going into the microcontroller okay i forget in uh, to place uh, or connect the vcc pin here so just copy the vcc pin from this position and this just connect this vcc pin here okay now just press ok now this is connected and after that you have to place your um, vcc uh, power supply that is the lc filter lnc close to the vcc pin and you also have to place the um, this c8 capacitor close to the area pin and and in the in the case of the um, that is that is actually pull up <coughs> register for the reset pin so it doesn't matter it's not a critical component okay let's place the microcontroller uh, to, okay just place the microcontroller so i want to place the microcontroller middle of the circuit so that i can connect all of those components to the microcontroller properly right so it's good idea or it's good good practice to place your main controller um, into the middle of the circuit so that you can connect the rest of the components um, just spread out of, throughout or spread out your board right so that's a good practice i think okay just place your microcontroller in the middle of the board okay after that, I will place the capacitor because capacitor are the most critical components here. Sorry, no, sorry, crystal. That is Q1 and place crystal here. And the second thing is C5 and C6, right? So place C5 and C6. And after that, C9, C10. Just place randomly, we will uh, replace those, uh, we will change this position later. And after that, C7 and C7 and L1. Okay, I think that's enough, right? Okay, that's enough for this, um, uh, for the critical component part. Now I will maximize this PC window. So one thing you have noticed that, uh, when you just switch from the uh, schematic to PCB, all those uh, components are connected to one another. Uh, to the shortest possible path, but now you have uh, place uh, change the location of those um, components. Now the paths are not shortest possible because uh, the path have to recalculate again. For recalculating the path, you have to press a button. The button name is the rest nest, or the tool name is the rest nest. The rest nest button uh, actually uh, works like refresh button for the Eagle PCB. So what uh, what it does is uh, every time you change your design. Or you change anything, it recalculate all recalculate all those path and recalculate everything. So just press on rest net and see the magic. Just press on rest net. See all those connections are recalculated and are connected to the shortest possible path. Now you can now you can realize that how to place rest of the component properly and which component to place which way. Okay. And next thing you have to consider the connections of your um, Input output connection actually because think about that this is a data logger you want to place this data logger or you want to mount this data logger on a wall and you want to connect uh, uh, the input output pin through this bottom or uh, through, uh, through this bottom of the PCB right so you have to place a rest of the mechanical component or input output components here and there is also a constraint of the casing design so your boss told you that you have to design your casing in such a way that all those input output components are one side of the PCB that's why your casing design will be less complex and will be cost efficient I think so so I think yeah all those input output connections are uh, on the bottom side now your casing design will be less complex and I think uh, this is the most efficient way to design a PCB okay
uh, that's all for this um, video and uh, next video I will discuss discuss all the topics uh, in detail and I will start routing the PCB okay that's all and don't forget to subscribe my channel also uh, if you can just support me on patreon or coffee and thank you very much